Okay, we are starting another lesson. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to do a simple painting in this lesson. <clears throat> and the first thing we want to talk about is choosing a subject that we can handle. Now, I'm talking primarily to those of you who are just getting into watercolor. This is a fairly simple subject. It, you know, you can just about count the shapes here, here, the background, simple, simple. And so this is pretty simple. But if we were to paint this here, this is much more pretty, it's, uh, but it's much more complicated. It's much more difficult to figure out how to paint this. Now I'm speaking primarily to those of you who want to learn how to paint something the way it looks. If you want to uh, kind of put the photograph away and just make up a painting from your imagination, that's completely different. But those of you who want to paint something, look at it and paint it the way it looks. That's who I'm speaking to right now. Uh, <clears throat> if we go through my photographs here, this, if you hadn't painted very much before, this would be a little bit difficult for you to try to do, okay? It's got some complexity here. Let's take a look at, uh, you know, the photograph here. We've looked at this before. This, this is a fairly easy to paint picture, but on a scale of 1 to 10, this is probably about a 6 or a 7. But if we take that same photograph and we turn it into this here, now we've made this much on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being easiest, this is probably closer to 3 or 4. We just draw it, it's black and white, so it's much easier. <clears throat> if we try to paint this picture here, it's fairly easy, it's a color picture. Uh, so you draw it out, and then the background goes in first. Fairly easy to paint. Uh, this is a fairly easy to paint uh, landscape. It has stages, you do the background, you do the foreground. So that's pretty easy to paint. Um, this is an uh, even easier picture to paint. This is what we're going to paint here today. In a little bit I'll show you how to do a black and white landscape. And <clears throat> But if we wanted to paint this here, and we had very little experience, this is a Venice Canal. Uh, you can see here the complexity of that and all the stuff that's going on in there. Uh, so if we have very little experience and we want to paint something complicated like this, uh, we're setting ourselves up for an extremely frustrating uh, process because this is not a subject for a beginner to paint. It's very much like piano music, those of you who've, who've played the piano before. You know, if you take a simple song, the fewer notes it has, this is Jingle Bells, the easier it is to play. But if we go to a piece of music that has notes all over the place like this, that's that would be extremely hard to pl uh, paint. So we want to look for subjects that are very easy to paint. So let's take a look at how we paint this, okay? Okay, to paint a simple painting like this, just the mountains going back into the distance, what we're going to do first, uh, we have our paper here. I'm going to use a one inch flat. Uh, make sure you watch the other videos, lessons one through 12, because they tie in with what we're, we, we need to do to get this right. So we're going to start out, we're just going to paint a light background wash. Here's my, uh, my paint over here and my water and we need a sponge uh, to control the, uh, the water. We can use a paper towel here. Start out very light uh, for the sky. We put a light wash here over the top, clean the brush out, dry it off, and see that just a light wash for the sky. You probably can hardly see it. So let's stop there for a second. Okay, we put in our sky and we dried that off with a hair dryer. Now we're going to we're going to put in our first mountain range. So we're going to put in a mountain range here. We don't need to do a drawing. Watch how we do this. It's not very dark. We come over here, get some paint, not really dark. And we're going to put our mountain range in here like this. We come down here like this. The brush is, again, about a number five amount of wetness. We go through there like that. You've got to clean that brush out, get rid of the paint, dry it, get, down, get it down to a number five. Look at our previous lessons. The brush is cleaned out. We go back and forth over that edge, fuzz it out, okay? Clean the brush out again. It got dirty, dry it off go back and forth and so we don't have an edge. So we first we put our sky in, now we put in that, okay? So we dry that with a hair dryer. Let's put another mountain range in there. Again, we're referring to this photograph. Each mountain range is going to get a little bit darker and the mountains go from dark to light. And in previous lessons I've showed us how to go from dark to light, but we're just doing this in one color. So we make a second mountain range in here. We're going to come in here like this and go a little bit darker 
and again our brush always has about a number five amount of water in it we're going to come in here like this we go across we have to move along like that now we clean that brush out shake the paint out dry it off within five ten seconds we go over this edge here and we don't go straight back and forth do a little bit of crisscross like this and that picks up paint we dry the brush out again we go over this again get rid of that line so we don't have a sharp line there like that go over there like that and that's step two okay let's dry that off so we dried that off we started with the sky this this now we're going to put our next mountain range in and this gets as we look at our, our reference photo here each mountain range gets darker so we're going to come down here a little darker and come in maybe create a few little trees along the edge and that gets darker comes down here like that and now clean your brush out shake the paint out dry it off go over the edge You've got to move along very rapidly here try not to go back up there clean your brush out dry it off get the brush very dry half the brush is on the paint half is on the clean part of the paper clean the brush out again so we fade out see it just goes dark to light uh, I've showed you how to do that in previous lessons let's try that off so you can see where we're at we put in three mountain ranges we're kind of following this we're going to put in one final mountain range uh, maybe some trees on it here you can barely see it and uh, let's do that now so we need more paint each time we use a little more paint a little more pasty down here if you can see it more pasty we come in here like this create a few little textures and we have to move right along so we're going to just jiggle our brush a little bit like this come across like that jiggle a little bit more like this and come across and maybe put a few more here like this maybe come up at the end like that and now we're going to make this pretty much dark all the way down we'll run it clear down to the bottom and fill that in and then we will be done with a very simple painting this painting is on a scale of 1 to 10 if 10 is most difficult this is a very simple to paint picture so there's our picture let's dry that off take the tape off I taped it around the edge and then we'll see what we have okay, here we have our finished painting so you can kind of see it there uh, I didn't do it exactly like the photograph but again you can kind of see here how we're trying to learn how to paint my paintings on the right the photographs on the left and what we did is we went from uh, light medium medium uh, light medium light medium medium dark and finally our darkest stage so this is a very simple uh, painting a good starting painting in one color to give it uh, if you want to give watercolor a try this is a great way to begin okay that's it for now